Hello Create Studio user. In this tutorial I want to show you how to make video clips loopable in Create Studio 3.0. Not every video clip is suitable for this method. Uh, the best is uh, to take something here like abstract backgrounds here if you have a video with a camera movement or the movement of big objects it's not so suitable for this method here okay let's begin uh, to see if a video is loopable uh, you can go in let's go here with this gradient 7 here from the studio and let's duplicate the video and bring this to the beginning or the end here of the first video. Let's remove excess tracks here. And now when I go here to the to the point where they met here the two tracks you see that you have here a, I think it's called jump cut here. Let's play it here. So this video is as it is not loopable here. So I will delete here the second one and now I show you my method uh, to make this video loopable. Okay, first let's go and fit the timeline here and then uh, you have to decide how long your transition should be. In most cases two to three seconds are enough so I go here with two seconds and here at the two seconds mark I make here a cut. I bring the first part of the video, I bring this up. The end of the first part of the video is now, is also the beginning here, uh, the beginning frame of the second part of the video. So I bring this here to the, to the left here and I bring this to the end here. So this frame here of the first part of this little track here, the last frame here is the same as the first frame here of the second part of this video. Uh, I can show you this when I go here. Uh, let's go here to the end. You can see here the last frame here uh, but let's go uh, one frame back here and when I now go to the beginning you see that it's the same nearly the same frame here is the same frame here is nearly the same frame to the first video here or to the to the long video the second part video here okay what you now have to do is to select here this two second video here and go to motion in fade fade in then you bring the animation here to two seconds to the end here the next step is now to select both of the tracks here right click and group them now the last frame is here the same as the first frame here in this group. So now I can easily duplicate here this group and bring this here at the end of the first group here. You can now make another group, duplicate it and so on and so on or you go with uh, group, 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 group uh, until um, the duration of these groups are what you need it or what you need. So I go here and fit the timeline. It's always good to look if they are nicely connected here. So now they are nicely connected here and now I go back here and fit timeline. And now let's play here the transition begins at the sec six seconds mark here and you will see now when I go here there is a smooth you see a little jump here now 
but it's a smooth transition between these two video clips or group here. I can play this here. You see a little glitchiness or something like this, a little jump cut, not here, but you will not see it in the rendered video and I will show you this now. Uh, let's go and save here this project here. I replace here a former one here. Let's replace it. And now I got to publish it. I will publish it with this default settings here. And I go here with replacing here this video here. And now let's open the folder, bring this video here in and bring it here on the timeline so that it's above the, these two groups here. And now let's see if the transition is smooth. Nice and smooth here. So you now can, I will delete this here, delete this here, and now you can go and uh, rename this, let's say Grady, Gradient, I think it was seven, let's call it loop. And now you can, let's go with the playhead over it, now you can save this to your scenes. You see I have here another one that I will delete here. Okay. I will do this process one more time and quicker here. Studio, let's go here with this uh, squiggles here. Let's bring this here on the canvas. Ex fit timeline, go to the two second mark. Make here a cut, bring the first part up, bring the second part here to the zero time frame here and bring this here to the right. Go with the blade head here, go with motion, in, fade, fade in, Drag this to the end here of the track. Then select both tracks. Can also create here the group. I will just make this here. Make a duplicate. Bring this here to the end of the first group here. Make it, make it bigger here. Let's see if it's nicely connected here. Fit timeline, sorry, fit timeline here. Let's check the transition here. Nice. And I can also go here and publish this. I take here or I replace here this video. Open the folder, let's bring this in. Let's go to the beginning here. Track this here on the timeline. And now I can play this here to see if everything's smooth here. Here at the eight, eight second mark, it's the transition finished here. And nice and smooth. Now I can go and uh, rename it and, or better first delete this here. Rename this group and take it to my scenes. Okay. I hope this will help you. Thank you and goodbye.